Hey everybody, welcome back to Posnick Training. I'm David Posnick and today we are going to take a look at one of my favorite exercises, the plank cable pull down. This exercise is a killer workout for your lats and your biceps, and it also provides a great stabilization challenge to your entire core and your shoulder girdle. The plank cable pull down is one of the foundational exercises we use to get Amir Khan ripped for his role in Doom 3. And as a professional acrobat, I often do it myself as it's an incredible exercise for developing the kind of functional strength that allows me to do things like this. Let's jump right in. The base position for this exercise is a one-arm plank. I recommend always warming up with the plank before grabbing the cable to make sure your form is solid. One great thing about this exercise is that you can perform it on your elbow, which requires less work from your core and shoulder so this position is great for people who are new to this exercise. You can also pop up onto your hand, which is going to increase the stabilization challenge through the shoulder girdle and the core. In terms of your form, we're looking for a long line from the top of your head all the way down through your spine to the bottom of your heels. Don't collapse through the lower back and don't stick your butt up. Keep a nice long spine. If you're looking to build a six pack or strengthen your core, move that supporting hand forward a bit this will seriously increase the challenge to your core and shoulder girdle. It will also allow you to lift a lot more weight as you can push back off of those fingers to counteract the forward pull of the heavy load. And if you're going really heavy, have a buddy hand you the cable instead of grabbing it yourself so you can focus on your form and performing your reps safely. In terms of your positioning, you don't want to be right up against the machine as you want to keep the muscles engaged and work through the full range of motion for the lats on every rep. But you don't want to be too far away from the machine either because when you get to the end of this exercise, especially if you're training to failure, you want to be able to safely release the cable. I also love how many variations you can do with this exercise. In terms of your hand position, you can perform this exercise like a traditional lap pull down, in a parallel grip, or underhand. If this exercise feels too challenging, you can drop your knees to the ground and still keep a nice long line from the top of your head down through your spine. If you want to increase the balance and stabilization challenge, you can bring your feet together so your base is narrower. And if that's still too easy, you can lift and extend your back leg as well, which will provide great balance challenge and a killer workout for your core. Keep in mind that you don't need a big machine to do this exercise. It's a great one to train at home or on the road, as every variation we're showing here can also be done with resistance loops, resistance tubes, or with TheraBands which you can literally carry in your pocket. And that wraps up our video today on the plank cable pull down. If you enjoyed this video, please do feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and if you click the little bell icon to turn on notifications, you'll hear about each and every video as soon as we release it. Lastly, if you come up with your own variation on this exercise, please feel free to share it with us in the comments below. Or better yet, Send us in a video of your version. We'd love to feature some of them on the channel. Thanks for joining us today. I'm David Posnick with Posnick Training. We'll see you next time. Strength plus speed equals what, Mr. Khan? Uh, Power, period. A good sense of math. <laughs> of physics. One, two, faster. Three, go, four.